Sarah from Tassel's Crochet Creations and today we'll be doing episode 2 of the spinning wheel of the spinning wheel game where we take the my crochet patterns and my crochet keychains that I have here on my YouTube channel and making them into teeny tiny little mini keychains using the spinning wheel. Okay, so this is episode 2 guys, episode 2. If you haven't seen episode 1 make sure you go back and watch episode one you do not want you do not want to miss the first one okay so we are now going to we are now going to um spin the wheel we're going to see um we're going to see what we get okay and uh, i apologize if my camera like refocuses a lot and all of that stuff um, I'm using my old Nokia phone um, and this thing is so old that there's no focus button there's no like you know I can't set the focus I can't set the brightness the contrast I can't set any of that um, I don't know if it's just a Nokia thing or what but I know with my Samsung phone I can um, I can what would you call it I can like lock where I want the focus to be and I can adjust the brightness and darkness of the the camera but not with this Nokia phone so I hope it's gonna come out okay I really really do um, so yeah this is my first time using the phone for the first video I used my webcam which was horrible I'm not gonna lie it was horrible um, so yeah are you ready are you ready to choose I want to choose are you ready to spin the wheel are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so excited, guys. I don't know what's gonna get. What don't, I don't know what's gonna get chosen. Oh gosh, I'm getting. I'm getting like nervous but excited at the same time. It's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna record my screen. Woo! Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Let's let's do this. Okay. Whew, okay. I'm ready to spin the wheel, guys. Ah! I, I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm so nervous. I, I don't know what it's going to be like. Okay. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. What is it? What is it? Hey, a mountain keychain. <laughs> A mountain keychain. Okay, so the mountain keychain got picked. So let's get the yarn, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the mountain keychain from the wheel. Um, okay, so let's stop that. This is just too good, honestly. Okay, let me save this under episode two of the spinning wheel. Okay, this was so much fun guys. I love doing this actually. Um, folder and this is episode 2. It will show 2. Episode 2. Yeah, this is so good guys. This is so good. Okay, so that is saved. So it's the mountain keychain. Okay, so out of the colors that I have, um, so I have white for the snow, the snow, um, I don't have grey, I don't have grey, but mountains are brown, right, mountains can also be brown. So I think we can do a brown mountain with white snow, how does that sound? It would also be good if I start recording on my other camera here, I forgot about that for a minute, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So those are the colors that I have. Okay, I don't actually have much options for colors, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's start with this, shall we? Okay, and it would help if I also get my patterns out. Okay, so I'm ready to start. And um, okay, so these are the, the, the yarn. This is the yarn that I'll be using. So this is um, crochet number five yarn um so yeah i have it in white and hazelnut 
and this yarn actually recommends like a two millimeter crochet hook and this is also acrylic by the way but for these keychains I'll be using my smallest crochet hook which is my 0.60 millimeter crochet hook guys <laughs> isn't this exciting I'm so excited okay so we need to make a mountain so I'm gonna grab my hazelnut yarn and I'm gonna put my white aside you don't need that right now okay and then we're gonna make a slip knot Okay, so I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then I need to chain 21. Okay, let me zoom you guys in here. Look at how tiny that is. Okay, you ready guys? Let's do this. Okay, so let's chain. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yo, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Okay, so now I've made my twenty-one chains. And look at my hair's on my ball of yarn, just kind of uh, rolling into camera here. And then, um, okay, then I'm going to single crochet into each chain across. This is actually so exciting, guys. I actually really enjoy doing this. And I think it's because, like, I love the excitement or the, what would you call it? Like the, what's the word? the suspense of kind of waiting to see what the what the picked keychain is um it's so cool I, I, it's actually so exciting i'm not gonna lie this is actually so much fun please let me know if you guys are also enjoying these like little series i think it's like so cute and it's so cool you really should have seen the first one if you haven't seen it already you really should go and watch it. Yo, this foundation row is always, it's always takes the longest. The chain and the foundation row always takes the longest, especially if you're doing like quite a lot of chains. your smallest crochet hook that you have ever that you have ever crocheted with I would like to know this is the smallest crochet hook I've ever crocheted with So now I'm finished crocheting um, into my chains and now it's time for, it's time to start decreasing. Okay, yeah, so let me turn my work. This is so tiny guys. Okay, so I need to decrease. Ah! This is so tricky, I'm not used to this. Okay, I'm just going to do a normal decrease for now even though I don't quite like doing those normal decreases because it creates like bulk in my opinion. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is like so tricky. I need to make sure I stay in frame. <laughs> This is so tricky, I don't know why. Okay, well I do know why, it's because it's very small and it's fiddly. Ah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fiddly. Okay. Ah, no, I lost my yarn. Don't you hate that when that happens? Like you would like turn or like look away, and then like the hook just slips out of the, the loop. Oh, out of the yarn that is so irritating okay so now I'm coming up to the last two and I need to do another decrease okay I'm gonna try and do the invisible decrease now I couldn't do it for the first row because it was just yeah okay there we go that is the second row complete yeah okay that's the second row Okay, and then one single I can't remember now if uh, if this is a decrease round or just a single crochet round. I mean row. I can't remember. Can't remember what row I was on. And I legit can't remember. Alright, okay, no, this is not a decrease round.
Okay, so that is what the one side of the mountain looks like. And now I can end off the brown and join the white. Yeah. This is so exciting, guys. Honestly, this is so, so, super exciting. Okay, so that's the, that's the half of the first layer done. Or the first layer, the first, the first side done. Just need to do the snow. Okay, so with the snow, okay, we're gonna do a decrease round first. We decrease round first. and the brown doesn't that just look so cute I really like that actually okay so now I'm gonna make the um, the snow kind of dripping down the mountain okay so one spike stitch into three rows below one two three so cute with the snow. Isn't that just adorable? That is so cute. Okay, I like that. Okay, and then turn. so cute so now I can snip off my my white yarn end off and oh, look at how cute that is look at how tiny that is it's like half the size of my thumb for comparison's sake oh my gosh look at how cute that is okay so now I need to make another side of these I need to make another another one of these this is so cute. I actually quite like this. Okay, now I need to make another one. the other side of the mountain and now it is time to start crocheting these two pieces together okay so I'm just gonna put them together and I think yeah okay so I'm gonna put these ones together 
Yeah, and now we're just gonna crochet these pieces together. I think I'm ready to stuff now. So this is what the mountain looks like so far. Isn't it just cute? Okay, so now we are going to stuff um, the mountain a little bit. I don't know how much stuffing I'll need because this thing's tiny. Um, but let's see here. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some stuffing and a blunt and a blunt pair of scissors. And now I'm just going to stuff this mountain. Okay, so I just finished stuffing up the mountain and this is what it looks like. Isn't it just so cute? <gasps> I love how tiny and adorable this is. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. That is so cute. Okay, so. I actually don't know if I overstuffed it. Does it look overstuffed to you? Hmm. I don't know if I overstuffed it now. I'm not sure. Oh, well, maybe I just need to, um, what would you call it? Maybe I just need to push the stuffing around a bit. I'm just gonna end off now. I'm just gonna slip stitch to my first single crochet that I did. And off. Okay, that's what it should be looking like now. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's now time to uh, weave in our tail end. So I'm just going to snip off this tail end here because I worked over it. And I can snip off my brown yarn. And I'm going to snip off this brown yarn because I worked over it earlier. So now I'm just going to weave my tail ends in, so I'm just going to take my darning needle and just weave in these tail ends.
Okay, so that is the actual mountain keychain, like complete. The only thing we need to do now is just put the keychain on. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not quite happy with how like the peak is like not stopped. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe get. Um... Okay, so I think that is it for this mountain. Um, I don't think there's much else that I can do to kind of get the shape correct um i think i may have overstuffed it uh, um yeah i don't think i should have added that last little bit of stuffing at the end um so yeah we kind of have like a little deep formed mountain um but it's still a mountain at the end of the day <laughs> so yeah the only thing now that's left to do is just put our keychain on um so i'm just gonna grab my pliers and i'm just going to Put the jump ring on. The jump rings are always tricky to put on. Oh, I just lost my jump ring. It landed on the floor somewhere. I'll grab that one later. Okay, let's try that again. Sometimes I really, really don't like putting these jump rings on because they can be so stubborn. They can really be so stubborn. Like, look at this thing. Really? I don't think that this mountain keychain wants... Well, I don't think this mountain wants a keychain on him. There we go. There we go. Okay. I spoke too soon. Okay, there we go. There is our tiny little mountain. Isn't that just so cute? Look at that tiny little mountain. Okay, I want to see how big this is. Okay, let's get my trusty tape measure out. And this is approximately four and a half centimeters by five centimeters wide and like eh, one and a half centimeters thick. So that's not too bad for a little mini mountain. How cute is that? And this is what it looks like in comparison to the big boy. Look at that. Look at how tiny that is. <laughs> so this is like the normal keychain. Um, yeah, and this is the, the one that we just did with the, the number five um, crochet yarn. Isn't it just cute? Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so tiny. Isn't that just adorable? Let me actually zoom out so you can see like... See, this is how small it is in comparison to my hand. Like, look at that. It is so tiny. Let's bring out the big boy again and let's see the difference. <laughs> Isn't it just so cute? Okay, guys, that is it for today's video <laughs> on this little mini, mini series, on this little mini um, keychain series. Uh, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this one and um, yeah, apologies for my other camera, it kind of died uh, towards the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, my phone was like literally on like 60% and then like it literally just died. I was not expecting it to, to die so quickly. Um, then again, I was kind of recording for like over an hour. Um, so yeah, but look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to put it against the, the keychain that I did for last week's one. But that's going to ruin it. That's going to ruin it. So if you haven't watched the last, ep the last episode, the first episode, I suggest you go and watch it. I suggest you go and watch it. I, I really don't know if I should like expose, expose episode one's keychain. 
I kind of want to just for like the comparison sake well just like the comparison sake and just to kind of like show like like this the, this, the difference in the size and just kind of I don't know just to kind of like compare them I guess I don't know I'm looking at cute it is it's so cute I actually think that the brown goes quite well with the with the snow I actually quite like the look of the brown the brown mountain really I do I don't know which one do you prefer the gray or the brown I don't know the brown looks quite cute the brown looks nice I don't know what do you think what do you think oh gosh guys this is so cute oh, oh. i'll be saying these for all of the keychains i'm telling you i am telling you i will i will have the same thing to say about all of these keychains and they are so cute they're so adorable oh my gosh 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 it is so cute look at it ah oh, it is so cute I don't know why, but it's kind of making me think of ice cream. I think it's because of like the snow it kind of looks like toppings, like like um, cream toppings or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me crochet uh, the mini uh, this mini uh, mountain keychain for episode two of the spinning wheel miniature keychains. Um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, enjoyed watching me crochet this tiny thing and struggling at some points. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you have watched these first two episodes. Let me know which one is your favorite out of the first two that I've made. Um, so yeah, and again, if you haven't watched the first episode, please go back and watch the first one. Please, please. This is just too good. This is just too, too good with these things being so miniature and cute like this, honestly. This is just too cute. Whew. Okay, I need to end this now. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here the whole time for like another 10, 20, 15, 20 minutes. Who knows how long? Talking about how cute this tiny little mountain is. Whew. Okay, let's gather myself. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And I really hope, I really hope again that you enjoyed watching me crochet and struggle. Um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed watching me crochet and struggle with this little mountain keychain um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching episode two of the mini spinning wheel keychain series and yeah thank you guys for watching and stay posted for next week's one happy crocheting guys